Hi everyone, Kirsten here. So today's video, I have recently been thinking about doing this for a while actually, and of course, you guys may have seen these type of videos before. And basically these type of videos are called my perfect imperfections video. It looked like a very interesting video to do, so I just figured I would go ahead and kind of start this type of video today. So without further ado, I am going to go ahead and dive right on in into this topic. Just right off the bat, while I do have some perfections about myself in particular that I really do feel proud about, there are other parts of my body or my face or something that I just do not feel comfortable with. This is just not me making this video to like bring myself down or anything like that. I just ultimately wanted to point out like things I love about myself and other things I don't like about myself. So to begin, I am going to be starting off with the fact that there are some things about myself in particular that I do not ultimately feel proud of. So three things that I feel uncomfortable about my body is, honestly, believe it or not, I am very self-conscious about my arms. I think it's because I have like these upper body arms where it's just nothing but complete fat and everything else. Also the fact that I have dark armpits too, so that's something I feel pretty ashamed of. That's another reason why I feel very self-conscious about my arms. It's filled with fat, I have dark armpits, I have stretch marks underneath my arms and stuff. I feel like since I've been losing weight, I feel like my arms have definitely gone down so much, I think. And as you can tell, I still have some of this chub down here, as you can see, but that is slowly going away. I just need to work on my upper arms when I work out, definitely for sure. Another thing I really wanted to point out is the fact that I feel very self-conscious about my stomach. Like, I know I have like these horrible stretch marks from when I gained so much weight. No matter what I do to like use lotions and stuff, I feel like the scars are not going away completely, which is kind of irritating at times. The final thing I really wanted to point out is my teeth. Although I do feel very proud of my smile when I do show off my teeth. The thing that kind of irritates me though is whenever I smile for like pictures or something. I don't know, I just feel like one part of like my tooth is completely crooked. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I mean. So, let's see that. Eh. Eh. So as you can see, this tooth right here, for some weird reason, when I smile for pictures, it just makes me feel like I have a crooked smile whenever I smile because of this fucking tooth right here, which is so annoying. But all in all, I feel like the rest of my teeth are perfectly straight and fine. Although, I have this thing at the bottom of like my teeth. What do they call it? A hag tooth? Down here in like the center or something? But for the most part, I feel very comfortable with my smile. And another thing I really wanted to point out is I also feel very self-conscious about my neck. I have like this bump on my neck where it makes me feel like I'm the hunchback of Notre Dame or something. I obviously don't feel like showing this off from my back because I just absolutely hate it. And the fact that I have like this line on my neck right here. I hate the fact that it's just there because it makes me feel like I'm absolutely fatter than how I actually am at like my current weight. But that's another thing I've noticed that kind of irritated me. So while there are things I don't feel comfortable about myself, there are things I definitely do feel proud of my body about. I'm proud of the fact that I have really pretty feet. I feel very proud of my feet. 
I love my legs. I feel like I've got like really strong, sexy legs for some weird reason. So as you noticed from my TMI tag, I got to show off my fairy tattoo that I had on one of my legs. That is one part of my body I feel very proud of. I'm happy with the fact that I have really pretty hair. Like no matter what type of hairstyle I go for, no matter what hair color, I just absolutely love my hair so much. And my hair just automatically complements the face area or like hugs it for some weird reason. I'm very proud of my complexion. I know not that many people seem to care much about like fair skin or whatnot, but I'm very proud of the fact that I have like a really nice complexion, especially around my face area, although sometimes I occasionally break out, but it's not like huge, dramatic, bad breakouts or anything. I am also happy with the fact that I have very pretty eyes, both eyebrows, shape of my eyes as well as like the color of my eyes that is something i definitely feel very proud of if you can see i don't know if you can tell from like the inner halos of my eyes but sometimes my eye color will change from like blues or greens or grays sometimes around my pupil area is like a little bit of a honey color which i think is very unique and I am also proud of the fact that I have really pretty hands. My fingers feel like they're pretty skinny and long for the most part, and the rest of my hands are just like really small. You guys probably can't tell in real life, but I do have pretty small hands for the most part. If not small, then it is definitely medium because I know I don't have very big hands, that's for sure. I also feel very proud of my nose a little bit, parts of my nose. I would say those are the parts about myself that I feel very, very proud of. So that is pretty much it for what I had to share about my imperfections for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video all together, so if you did, be sure to sucker punch that like button down below. And of course, if you haven't already, please do dedicate the time and effort to subscribe to my lovely channel, to become a part of my army of darkness, and you will be updated with a brand new video every single Friday as well as Sundays now. So that is pretty much it. Speaking of Sundays, I know I haven't had a chance to upload my Sinful Sundays episode last week, but I promise you a brand new Sinful Sundays video will be out, I believe sometime next week. The reason why I haven't uploaded my Sinful Sundays episode is because I was pretty much busy and consumed with like trying to get my presentation all together, which was the reason why I haven't uploaded it in time for Sundays lately. But as promised, I will be sure to upload that sometime next week or this week or something. It, it all kind of depends. But I also felt like I didn't really want to rush in into trying to upload that video so soon. So I hope you guys understand. But after today, I promise you a normal Sinful Sundays episode will be coming out relatively soon. If you guys are interested in following me outside of YouTube, all of my social medias will be listed in the description box down below if you are interested in checking them out yourself. And again, thank you guys so 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 much for watching and sticking to the end of this video. You guys are so awesome for doing that. Have a completely chill week, an awesome day or night, and I will talk to you all soon in the next video. So until then, Stay completely dark and so fucking brutal and awesome, my friends. Take care. Bye for now. Hi everyone, Kirsten here. So just recently, March just officially hit, like I think three or a couple of days ago, according to by the time I upload this video, of course. So 
that means today I am gonna be starting my monthly favorites video. So in case if you missed last month's video of when I first started to record my monthly favorites videos, basically it's the type of videos I thought about doing where I would talk to you guys on 